WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Technician's Hour about to start in another few minutes, but we'll first have the Tiger TFNN update. This is noon. And the Dow's up 122. It was up quite a bit more. It was up at the 28,944 level earlier this morning. Suddenly it kept sliding. It uh, looked like it was just pulling back over, uh, over 200 points up. And it pulls back to about a plus 22. And now it's back up at 119. Uh, this is very interesting because for quite a few days here, you've had many Dow stocks just in complete opposites. You've had yesterday, you had Boeing down sharply, you had Pfizer down sharply, but you had Apple up sharply, and you had JP Morgan up sharply. And that's exactly the same thing today. You've got Apple up nine at 326, and you've got, uh, what was the other one? And, and Boeing this time is up. And then you've got a number of Dow stocks down. This is going to be a very important week when we finish on Friday. So let's go through the numbers. We're looking at the Dow um, having dropped sharply from 29,300s to 28,600s, now in the middle of the range. And we've got the S&P a little bit better. Uh, it is up. Uh, 10 at 3286. It hit 3,337 on the 21st, uh, dropped to the 3234 level three days ago. Now it's rallying, but it isn't great. It's, it's looking okay. It's really looking like we're going to get a peak D in the weekly chart. That's going to be important. Look at the QQQ, the NDX 100, and this uh, NDX 100 uh, quite a bit. Um, Influenced by Apple, it's at 222. It's up 70 cents. Had a high of 225.88 four days ago. A low of three days ago of 217.28, and it's it's trying to rebound. But it looks to me with that Doji candle in the weekly chart, there's a really good chance that this could be a top for a little while. If we start to trade above the highs that were made. Uh, four days ago in any of the indices, that's very positive action. I think it's going to be difficult to do. Uh, we've got the IWM, Russell 2000, very weak. Gold is trying to come back a little bit here. It's uh, unchanged at 1570. It's really stuck in a range. Yeah, crude oil is, in fact, um, trying to rally as well. It's not looking too great. It's at 53, but it's the TLT that we're going to talk about in this next segment coming up, the Tiger Technician's Hour. And I will be back in a few moments. Hope to see you there. And then I'll see you tomorrow.